All right, guys, I want to share with you a watch called the Rule Canal, and it's from Bourbon Watch Company. So when Dane reached out to me, the owner of Bourbon Watch Company, and he had a big, long uh, story that he was presenting to me to get me to, you know, check out the watch and share it with you guys. And quite frankly, he had me at Bourbon. Like, <sighs> I like Bourbon, guys. So uh, I, all joking aside, it's actually a pretty sweet watch. Um, and I, I enjoy sharing these things with you. This is his passion. He's uh, been born and raised in Louisiana, not too far from New Orleans. And, you know, he's rooted in that community. His family's rooted in that uh, region. And he's passionate about building a really cool, fun watch. So let's check it out. What do we have here? What did Dane present to us? We have a 39 millimeter case. And I think we're calling these like horn lugs, or I think there's a few different names for these lugs. I don't know what they are, but they're they're very ornate, and I really like it, and it really fits the whole um, aura of the watch, if you will. So 39, the lug to lug is a 46.75, the thickness only nine and a half millimeter thick, flat sapphire crystal, and the manual wind movement is why we're so thin. That is awesome. This is going to be a very good. Uh, casual wear watch that is also kind of like you know attention grabbing and borderline dressy looking so but still very casual i think 20 millimeter lug width there so you could pick different straps i don't know why you would because he paired it up with a beautiful italian made leather padded uh, strap that is of high quality and a six and a half millimeter uh non-screw down crown if you will so it's 50 meter water resist but typically when you have a hand wind movement it's just going to be a push pull crown it is also signed uh, i mean there's little hints of the fleur de lis am i saying that right uh logo everywhere or in case you're just into football the um new orleans are they still in new orleans the saints i don't know wherever they're at the saints logo it's a french thing everything about that whole city is french right so that's just the way it goes um, but they're all over the place and that's, you know, the tie to his region. So pretty cool, fun. And I'm, a, I'm slightly ignorant on that region. So if I'm screwing things up, feel free to you know, correct me down in the comments, educate me. I will learn and I will advance, but it is a Swiss made watch. It does have the Salita SW210 elaborate grade movement. And I'll show that up close a little bit, uh, in the future here. And we have a syringe handset here. This whole dial layout is actually... Uh, has ties to, again, to New Orleans, uh, the Big Easy. There was a, I don't know if it's still there or not, but there was a store, according to a, uh, Dane's story, there was a store there called DH Homes. Any of the local people down there are going to know this. And it was on Canal Street or is on Canal Street. And uh, there was a clock out front. So this is, you know, that's appropriate. That makes sense, right? So I like it. There's three different colorways to this particular model. I picked the cream dial to share with you guys. I think uh, it would be my choice, but there's a really beautiful green dial one that he said everyone raves about. Maybe one day I'll see that. And then there's also a black dial. But I like this warm white or cream or whatever you want to call it. Beautiful, beautiful. And then a little pop of orange on there. Yeah, I mean, this thing is definitely speaking to me. So let's zoom in a little bit, take a closer look at this. It has a very soft dial to it. It's not shiny or anything like that. It's very soft and easy to read. You have uh, nice printed on numbers there, very similar to what you would see on the layout of that clock. So it's pretty cool or pretty interesting how they, you know, arc out and then the nine and the three and the six and the 12 are all like standard and then the other ones are just angled. I mean, that's how you do this in a circle, I guess. But you have a syringe handset and then you have that crescent on the balance of the orange seconds hand, of course, sweeping away there. Beautiful looking layout. I like that. I like those these uh, lugs. I have seen those on some other vintage watches. So this isn't a new design or anything like that. This is something that's been around for a long time. And I think that's the whole vibe of the watch. It's like it has those vintage vibes, but in a modern day material package, which would be the only way I would go for a watch. I just, I can't get into the old vintage stuff, but... There's a look at that elaborate, elaborate grade movement, the Salita SW210, manual wind. Again, you can just turn the crown and wind it. It's kind of cool that he put his 
a little logo there on one of the plates. That's really nice added touch. Designed in Louisiana, and it's called the Rue Canal is the model number or model name. So uh, this is going to be a crowdsourced uh, release. So I'll put a link to that down in the description when it's provided to me. The price range, now that, don't hold me to this or hold Dane to it, but he's hoping to hit um, in that $12.95 range. So gasp, I know it's a lot of money guys, but there's this is like a special watch. This isn't like off the shelf parts. These are all spec'd out parts. So that really adds and escalates the price of the watch, but also the value of the watch because it's going to be unique. It's going to be uh, special. It's not going to be something you're going to see anywhere else. It's going to be uh, their, his own design uh, everywhere on the watch. And that's very important to keep that in mind. So before you start getting judgy judgy on the $12.95 price point and what else you can get, um, there's, there's something special about these watches that you're not getting anywhere else. And that's that's why people buy these. It's Bourbon Watch Company. It's rooted in the uh, the South and near the Big Easy, you know. Um, and it's something that Dane worked very hard on and put a lot of time and money into, I'm sure. And going to throw it out there, put himself out there and see what happens. So, anyway, guys, if you have any questions, chime in in the comments. I'm sure maybe I can get Dane to... Sometimes it's not a good idea, but maybe I can get Dane to chime in in the comments and uh, share his opinion on the, his design and everything like that. But I'll certainly try to help out as well. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next vid.